That will be interesting to see that pitch throughout the rest of his start today because that's something the Astros really try and do is elevate that fastball to set up the down and in breaking ball. Showing some good usage of the curveball early getting Malik Smith to strike out. Smith had been two for four with four walks against Sanchez before this. On the ground Sanchez is going to cover as Yuli flips it to him. That's the second out. In the air left field Michael Brantley is there puts it away Aaron Sanchez a shutout first inning in an Astros uniform. And he gets him on another breaking ball curveball looking good to both lefties and right rushing he was averaging 93.9 miles an hour on his fastball then the changeup. How about that sequence Blummer. I like it. That's exactly what you talked about. Well that's the, that's what's great too is having two solid secondary pitches to go behind the elevated fastball. So now you've got the hitter thinking now okay. favored to win. The World Series but I think Sanchez was in particular excited about everything the Astros could offer to him and so far so good. Two innings of work he's only hit a batter as the only runner. He let me he let me go out there time and time again we had some success. Um, and he felt good, you know, about you know me being being out there uh, for opening day. So thanks to him, I was be able to be out there. He is doing his thing with the gum on the bat, and all of a sudden Shane Reynolds is like just removing every speck of anything in front of him. It was unbelievable. <laughs> See all those guys from all the different eras and tremendous players, and then you think about this year's team, and you're like, hmm, <laughs> yeah, right. Twenty to twenty-five years from now. We'll be seeing these guys all back as Hall of Famers. It fit well with him. But I learned all those things that I learned about baseball in Houston because I had some of the great, great teachers. Nellie Fox was here when I first came. Bob Lillis, Joe Gaines, Walt Bond. I would not have been part of the Big Red Machine. Ball in the left center field. Brantley going back on it will make the play. Two quick outs here in the inning. Yeah, they're trying to get me out of here quick. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. We're not done with you yet. I, hey, I was amazed. I used this bat in the on deck circle. Get 36 ounces? 36 inch, 36 oh. ounces. I'd heard about those guys, but didn't get a chance to see them play. Well, I, I not only got to see them as they started their careers, but I got an opportunity to pitch against them. So or many stories. Those sweets are filling up with stories tonight. This ball in the center field George Springer eases to his left puts it away for out number two. Nolan Ryan is early in his career out of the bullpen for the Mets ended up making it to the World Series in 1969 and then never got back there. Little tapper Yuli's going to make the play to Sanchez covering Aaron Sanchez through five innings has been outstanding the Astros lead three to nothing. Oh pretty breaking ball for a call third strike Sanchez picks up his sixth strikeout one away in the inning having two high quality secondary pitches to go behind that fastball is what's helping out Aaron Sanchez slow tapper right side Altuve will come in on it makes the play to get Seager Smith advances to third with two outs. Ground ball right side out two days there. Aaron Sanchez through six innings. 92 pitches in the book and the Astros lead four to nothing. He didn't miss the zone by a lot. He's putting him where he wanted to. Some of the numbers on Will Harris. 67th walk of the season. And he taps one slowly to the right side. Correa makes the play. Here's J.P. Crawford. Ground ball right side. Altuve. Correa for one. The return in time for the double play. Correa and Yuli still talking about the throws to first. Will Harris gets the double play ground ball. Got to have some good defense. And we've been seeing it all year long. Great feed from Altuve. So-so throw over to first base. Completes that double play. <laughs> Yeah, nothing like throwing Joe right into the mix here. Eighth inning, Astros leading seven to nothing. Biagini's numbers with Toronto. He has been outstanding this year. Right hand hitters. 2 2 pitch, little check swing on the slider. Jose Altuve is there. 
Joe Biagini in his introductory press conference was asked about. Called third strike. Freezes Broxton at 94 miles an hour, two away in the eighth. Ground ball, Yuli's there, he'll take it himself. We are through eight, seven nothing Astros. It's good for him, he's got that COD in his back pocket. Record on the season is 2-0, and oh, that ERA drifting down now at 4.31. He has been very good of late. Ground ball, Yuli on two hops, will flip it to Devo, that's one in the ninth. He got him. Foul tip. Cut by Maldonado. Narvaez down on strikes. Two away in the ninth. In this inning. Fly ball. Center field. Josh Reddick pulls off Jake Marisnik. The Astros have done it. On a night with the greatest legends in Houston Astros baseball inducted into the Hall of Fame, they create history of their own. The 2019 magic continues. A four-pitcher combined no-hitter. The 12th no-hitter in Astros history. The second at Minute Maid Park. Mike Fires when he joined the team in 2015 and tonight there was another new addition Aaron Sanchez with six of those no hit innings. Can't make this stuff up. A night where they recognize how this organization was built 16 Hall of Fame inductees and a couple of new guys on the ball club contributing to a combined no hitter for the Houston Astros. Joe Biagini gets a clean inning. Aaron Sanchez. Six no hit innings. And the Astros accomplish it on a magical weekend with a magical team. Greg Maddox, late in his career, sent to the Dodgers. Pulled after six innings of no hit baseball due to a rain delay after being acquired by the Dodgers. That's the last time somebody in his debut. Did not allow a hit after a midseason trade to throw six plus innings. Aaron Sanchez, who has struggled the whole year, hadn't won a game since April and is part of a no hit night tonight. How about it adding to the legend of Brent Strom? 